A difficult season for Mercedes, where they celebrated 4th and 5th as if they were podium finishes, has led to more significant speculation as to whether Hamilton will hang around or take a well-deserved break from F1 and ride off into the sunset. Toto recently joked that he sees Hamilton racing for another 5 to 10 years and reaching 400 races. Well, after Hamilton's most recent statements, it looks like the Briton will be well out before those landmarks. Stick around to find out what Hamilton said and who could replace the Englishman at Mercedes. The 2022 season was a terrible season for Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes. Hamilton failed to record a Grand Prix win for the first time in his career and likened the team's struggles to dealing with a ghost in the car. With all that being said, the Englishman is set to race for Mercedes in 2023 with a contract in place for him until the end of next season. But it's not 2023 that appears to be the problem, but what Hamilton will do after that. Toto recently said that it was paramount that Mercedes ensure Hamilton stays on beyond the 2023 season and said his main focus this winter break will be to ensure that Lewis signs a contract past the 2023 season. Well, the job list is pretty long with what's needed to be done, he said during a recent appearance on Beyond the Grid. But certainly Lewis's contract is one of the topics that we will tackle over the winter. There is no firm deadline. As confident as Toto may be with Lewis signing a new contract, there have been surprises throughout F1 history, with one happening as recently as the concluded season, with Vettel shocking the F1 world with his decision to retire from the sport creating a flurry of activity and ultimately landing Mick Schumacher at Mercedes. With Mick now occupying the reserve seat at Mercedes, his uncle Ralph, who we must say does not shy away from the media, has put out a fascinating scenario around Lewis Hamilton's future and his nephew's chances at Mercedes. The German said this in a recent interview with Sport One. Something could also happen at Mercedes, Ralph Schumacher told Sport One. Let's say George Russell is faster than Lewis Hamilton again. Does he want to continue at all? That will be exciting. But Lewis has so much credit with Mercedes that he can decide for himself. In any case, the money won't play a role for him. He has more than enough of it. What will be decisive is who suits the new car better. Ralph does make a good point about Hamilton wanting to retire if he cannot compete with Russell, and it appears the young Brit is up and ready for the challenge in 2023. He recently had this to say about Mercedes going into the new season. With the struggles at the start of the year, the car being off the pace, and then coming through towards the end of the season, it has been really exciting to see that progress, especially heading into 2023. Knowing the potential that we have within this team makes me excited for 2023. Obviously, after a setback such as 2022, it's really exciting knowing that we have the possibility to come back through and fight again in 2023, said Russell. Hamilton has had some interesting racing partners, Alonso and Rosberg to name a few, and the Briton has trumped most of them. The 2023 season will be no different, but this is starting to weigh heavy on the seven-time world champion. He recently told The Build that he is excited about the new season, but also finding it hard to keep going. Sometimes you wake up and have this feeling, I don't want to do this anymore. And sometimes you wake up and think, I can still do other things my whole life. There is definitely more I want to achieve. It won't be a terribly long time now, but I'll definitely be staying. I know how hard it is to be at the top and to stay there. We want to get back to the top. What gives us great hope is the end of this season. The last few races have shown a clear positive trend and proved that with perseverance, we can achieve anything. This doesn't sound like a man ready to give up on his dream of winning eight world titles, but it does appear that Lewis will retire if he can achieve one last world title. I think retiring as world champion is a dream that every athlete has, and so do I, he admitted. The final win would solidify Hamilton's status as the GOAT of F1 and surpass the legendary Michael Schumacher. Not to say that eight world titles won't be beaten, with Max Verstappen looking like the most likely man to do it. It will undoubtedly be an epic achievement, though. Speaking of epic, Jensen Button says we're in for an epic 2023 season. The former world champion recently told Any Driven Monday. Asked about his optimism for a fight between three teams at the front, Button told Sky Sports Any Driven Monday, it's going to take a couple of years, even with the cost cap for the teams that are closer to the rear to really fight at the front, but it's possible, definitely. There's no reason why they can't, especially if they have the right personnel and the right driver lineup. Anything is possible. Three teams would be mega. We all love it when there are more teams involved. 
When it's two drivers in the same team fighting for a championship, yeah, it's fine if the racing is good, but we like other teams. We love the teams fighting as well as the drivers. I loved that fight between Toto Wolff and Christian Horner off track as well as the action on track. The last time we had three teams was back in 2010, when it was McLaren, Ferrari and Red Bull, all fighting for the World Championship. Bring it on, I think we'll have an epic season next year. Hamilton's retirement would leave a gaping hole at Mercedes. This void would need to be filled, but the big question would be by who? Charles Leclerc has been linked to Mercedes and has recently grown frustrated at Ferrari after a positive start to the campaign fizzled out to nothing. A fair few exchanges happened over the team radio with Charles airing his frustrations. Asked whether a move to Mercedes is something he would angle for, a surprise Leclerc replied, 2024 is a long time away and there is still a little time left at Ferrari. This team has always been my dream. My objective at the moment is to win with Ferrari and then we'll see. I'm very happy with Ferrari and I want to win with them. With Charles out of contract in 2024, it would not be unheard of if he moved to Mercedes, notably if they won the championship and Lewis bowed out on a high. Schumacher would be in a prime position, but it is a precarious option with the former Haas driver being reckless on the track and ending up in the barrier far too often than a Mercedes driver should. One man that does think Mick is the best man for his job is his uncle, having this to say in a recent interview. Lewis Hamilton is still an absolute top driver, but he is no longer the youngest. The ravages of time are wearing on him, so you never know. I think it's a win-win situation for the team and Mick. Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff has already said that Mick belongs in a regular cockpit with his skills. I think there could be interesting possibilities in 2024. Mercedes not only has its own team, but also partner teams where you can have an influence. The other candidate would be Lando Norris. He fits the bill as a Mercedes driver, young, hungry, and exceptionally talented. It is a well-known fact that he held talks with Red Bull, and it may take little to sway his attention to join Mercedes, mainly if McLaren does not perform or fails to give him a car that can compete. Mercedes has not let out much about the contract situation with Lewis, and there may be three main stumbling blocks that both parties will need to overcome before a contract is finalized. The three pressure points are money, family time, and life after F1. Money plays a significant role in most decisions. With this being Hamilton's final contract in F1, we think he will be holding on for a big payout. And Hamilton has been very vocal about having more time to spend with his family, with the star wanting more Zoom meetings and less time at the factory. And the final is around his life after F1, with Hamilton wanting to remain in Mercedes even past his racing dates. Let us know what you think. Should Hamilton retire if he wins his eighth world title, or should he continue for a ninth?